Red tape is standing in the way of Ukrainian soldiers defending themselves in East Ukraine from attacks by Russian-backed militants. Those have been the findings of Jack Losh, writing for the UK's independent newspaper. He begins by telling us that on the front line, Ukrainian soldiers only really have access to Russian radio stations. Losh writes, the scant choice of Ukrainian radio programs may seem trivial, but it highlights the gulf between frontline fighters and their superiors, and signals a wider breakdown in communication occurring on the rest of nation's far eastern limits. Losh speaks with soldiers on the front line, who tell him that the breakdown in communication might even be costing lives. Red tape is stifling Ukraine's war effort, they say, as military commanders allegedly delay and even ban soldiers from responding to artillery attacks from pro-Russian rebels. When bombarded from enemy positions, government units regularly have to seek permission for a counter-strike from superiors removed from the action. But they complain of an inefficient chain of command and say the fighting is lost in a bureaucratic bottleneck. The breakdown in communication seems to go deeper. A peace deal signed last February was supposed to bring in a ceasefire in East Ukraine, but soldiers on the front line say that the truce, if it was ever in force, is now dead. But higher up, officials continue to say that it is being observed. Losh has comment from the commander-in-chief of Ukraine's armed forces. We do not keep firing back because the Ukrainian side will fulfill its promises, including those made in the Minsk agreements, he said. We also want to show the civilized world that we are ready to resolve the conflict on a political level. Ukrainian officials say that by following such a policy, they are able to show that it is in fact Russia and its proxy forces in Ukraine who are responsible for the ongoing hostilities. But it's an approach which appears to leave Ukrainian soldiers without adequate defenses. As a result, they are de demoralized, including one soldier named Vasily. Losh writes, next year marks a quarter of a century of independence from the USSR. Where did Vasily expect his country to be then? He looked dead ahead. We'll be in exactly the same place. A rather pessimistic ending to the article. Perhaps understandable, given the situation in East Ukraine, where fighting is showing no signs of coming to an end. That's all we have time for today. Join us again tomorrow for another press review. In Kiev, this is Ukraine Today.